Hey, I'm Alex Grieve, better known as IB Crazy, and in this video I'm going to see how far I can push the new diamond antenna on a basic uh, Spectrum DX6E. On the airplane, I have a basic Park Flyer 5 channel receiver. These are not meant for long range, but uh, I want to see how far I could push it. The uh, tree line behind me back there is at half a mile, so that's about one kilometer once I cross over the tree line. Um, I've only got 25 milliwatts on my all-in-one camera, and then, of course, I've got a helical antenna as the receiver. So uh, with that, let's see how far I can go. And off it goes. A little out of trim. step back from this because the radio is screaming in the ear of the 5.8 uh, video. I hope I'm in the right field, but uh, yeah, she's still going. That thing is still going. Dude, where'd that thing? Where'd that thing go? Alright, the uh, video's gonna go out in any minute, so I'm gonna turn this thing around. Yeah. Dude, you can't even see us, I'm so far away. So, how far out are you, Alex? Uh, I'm coming back, I'm about a half mile coming back. You know, I can step back from the screen because this is, this is this is producing some. Those lines of my video are are this radio. I, I think now I got to figure out where I am. I guess I uh, oh uh, where the hell am I? <laughs> oh, I'm over there. Okay, I'm still half mile out. <laughs> Just so far. <laughs> ah, come on! I can move back from the screen so I can fly. Oh, I thought this radio would be a little bit cleaner than this. You can see the video clears up as I get back. But I just put the three quarters of a mile. That's pretty good. Especially on 25 milliwatts. But holy smokes, is this is <laughs> my plane cannot make it. It's like I can't break the wind. I think you're caught in a draft. Dude, I can't <laughs> I, I can't push out of it. Are you full throttle? I'm full throttle, nose down, and it's like not moving. Come on. You're coming back. Yeah, barely. <laughs> That's full throttle. Uh, this might die before I make it back. <laughs> uh -oh. I might have, I mean, I, it's such a windy day. <laughs> ah, that's it, battery's dead. Oh no. Well, that's it. Well, it's right out there over in the field. I kind of know where it is. So, uh, hey, that isn't bad for 25 milliwatts, a cheap three-turn helical and uh, park flyer equipment. I'm just glad I, I'm glad I didn't drop it in the trees. <laughs> if you're wondering what about the Diamond made that flight possible, well, it's all in the radiation plot. The diamond allows the signal to track along the ground, eliminating nulls and weak spots, which allow the radio to go further than would normally be done on the stock antenna. For comparison, this is what the stock antenna radiation plot looks like when I hold the radio. As you can see, the ground causes the pattern to become quite erratic, and therefore fail-safes can be, well, random. Okay guys, so there it is, uh, three quarters of a mile out on a 25 milliwatt transmitter, three-turn helical, and then of course uh, the diamond antenna is the only modification to the control system. This is a, a standard Spectrum DX6E, and the only thing I did is plug this antenna in and zip tied it right to the uh, uh, stock antenna mount, and uh, it's just a stock Park Flyer 5 channel receiver on there. Three quarters of a mile is pretty darn impressive, so uh, I gotta go pick up my airplane. So uh, with that, I might be crazy and keep flying. I think I see the tail. There it is. 